Hello everyone, this is Eric with Game Ball, the gaming trackball mouse. In today's video, I'm going to give you an update on where we're at with the Game Ball project, and then I will uh, talk about Assassin's Creed Valhalla, the latest game I've been playing, how I use Game Ball within the game, um, kind of how I have the mouse button set up, the features I like, uh, the overall gameplay, and then I'll show you some of the combat and action in the game as well. Uh, so first off, let's give you an update on the project. So if you don't know, uh, this is this is Game Ball. It is a trackball, a uh, computer trackball mouse, and it's the first one that will be have a gaming focus. And we've been working on it for over five years now. And uh, the goal was to try to release in 2020, uh, but due to COVID-19, uh, we've had a, a number of delays this year, been closed down a number of times, and we're not going to be able to ship this calendar year. We'll be shipping next year. Um, we currently are shut down again due to the most recent spike. We had hoped that we would be able to take pre-sales before the end of the calendar year, uh, but that's not going to happen due to the fact that uh, we're, we're, like I said, we're currently shut down again in, in the UK due to uh, uh, current COVID cases. Um, so that's where we're at. Watch for the website, YouTube videos, other things as we get closer uh, to give you an idea on when we'll start the actual pre-sales and being able to actually start shipping these things. So um, early next year, that's the best estimate I can give you. Like I said, at the moment, we're currently shut down. Um, not able to go in and finish our production lines and manufacturing and testing and obviously that's key before we can start shipping these things out. Um, so that's the project update. So let's talk about Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So Assassin's Creed Valhalla just came out a few weeks ago. Um, I've been playing it for a few weeks. I think I'm level 41. That's kind of your power level. Um, if you play Destiny or other games like that, it's kind of like an indication of how powerful of a character you have. Um, it's a you know, Viking game set in 873 AD. Uh, you start off in Norway and then eventually get to England. Uh, I'll avoid any spoilers, but uh, you know, I, I would recommend before you leave Norway that you spend some time exploring. Uh, one key reason why is one thing that's a little different in this game is your abilities are found in books. And these books uh, are spread out throughout the world and you have to find them on the map uh, in order to unlock these skills. And a number of these are available in Norway. So I'd recommend doing some quests there, exploring before you leave Norway, and then uh, you'll be able to find more once you get to, to England. And they're, they're, they're pretty important. I have those mapped to the one, two, three, four keys, and you have melee-based ones and ranged-based ones. Um, so the, the game is an open-world adventure. If you've played Assassin's Creed or Origins or Odyssey or Red Dead Redemption 2 or Skyrim, you know, this is this, that style of game. You have a, a large open world to explore. Um, once you unlock a certain area, you can fast travel to it. Um, this one has a, a nice new settlement system where you actually build a settlement in England. And then over time, you grow that settlement. you got to find resources and materials. And you get those resources and materials by raiding. That's what these uh, red X's are on the map. Um, I'm not going to show you a raid today because it's, uh, it's rather chaotic. I'll show you just some of the more combat. But effectively what you do is you get in your long ship here, take command of it, and then you can call for a raid. And there's a monastery right here. Look there! If you Priest press to e pillage. here, they will uh, start raiding. And they'll attack with you. And all that. But I'm going to show you just some of the basic gameplay, solo gameplay, so I can show you some of the stealth things and, and how, the, how the mechanics there work. Uh, but I'm really impressed with the game. Very few bugs so far. Uh, the gameplay is, is smooth for me. Um, I did have a few minor graphical things, but it was really just due to the fact that I needed to update my video driver. So uh, I think once, you know, if you have the, the proper driver, and I have a 1080, uh, I don't best have my hood one here. of the newest cards. So, um, and it's been running fine at pretty high settings. <laughs> All right, so let me show you some of the mouse settings, and then I'll show you some of the combat as well. So the, uh, of course, to steer the mouse, you know, is or steer the, the, the your individual. This is Ivar, is my character. You use the trackball for that. This actually, you know, is your how you aim. If you have, if you hold down the right mouse button, and you pull out your bow, that's how you aim there. Um, your left mouse button is your primary <laughs> attack. Um, it also ha is your to shoot your bow when you have the right mouse button clicked and you're using a, a, a bow or a ranged attack. So that's your left mouse button. Your middle mouse button is to lock onto a target. I don't have a target to lock onto at the moment, but I'll show you that a little bit later. And then what I use the upper left mouse button for 
is this wheel that brings up, like if you need to bring a torch out, or if you need to put your hood on or off, um, which the hood's pretty important if you're trying to sneak into an area. I'll take the torch down. You can how you call your long ship, that's how you call your horse, different things. So um, that's the, the left mouse, upper left mouse button. And then on the right side, you know, your right mouse button, like I showed you, is for to for your right for your ranged attack. Um, the middle mouse button on this side is your is your DPI or sniper setting, and then your right mouse button, far back right mouse button, is for your rations. And that's basically how you heal yourself. So when you're hurt, you press that button, and that's how I'd have it mapped to uh, to gain some health back. Um, so that's how I have game ball configured. You don't use the scroll wheel too much. You do a little bit in the map. If you want to scroll in or out here. See here, I'm scrolling in and scrolling out. Um, looks like I lost online connection. But um, you don't really use the scroll wheel too much. There's not really a, um, a sniper mode that you'll scroll in and out with, at least not with the bow that I'm using. So you see that that, that, that doesn't do anything. It's primarily used in maps uh, or in the map when you want to zoom into a particular area and say look at a settlement or look for particular items or things like that. Um, so that's how I have the uh, button assignment set up. So let me show you some of the actual gameplay here. Some of the <laughs> Assassin's Creed is a big stealth game, so I'll try to show you some some stealth elements. <laughs> what you can also have is there's a a button you can use. In my case, it's V as in Victor, and you press and hold it down, and it kind of gives you an indication of kind of what's in your area. Um, so there's a, a guard <laughs> over here, and if you crouch and sneak up to him, you can actually do a stealth attack. Get some guys somewhat close. In this case, I have it mapped to F. If I press that, it'll do a quick assassination. And you can loot him. You can also carry the body if you want to try to hide it, similar to other Assassin's Creed games or other games. So if these guys are on patrols, you come over here, you can drop it there. So that's the, the stealth elements. Uh, you know, you can also do ranged attacks. That little alert that's going off is basically telling you he's starting to see you. Most guys are one, one, a, a one hit, one kill. Some of the tougher enemies you might have to stealth. You can change that in the settings if you want. Um, I, I use it to where it's not always a, a, a one shot, one kill. Sometimes it, uh, the more difficult enemies you'll have to, you'll do a stealth attack and it might take a quarter of their health or whatever. So you can also do a ranged attack, um, and if you put your mouse over, depending on where you'll hit them, it'll tell you how much damage you'll do. Like that's a tougher character, so I'll do less damage. Um, you do have different weapon types, so there's a different type of bow you can use. This is a raven-focused bow, so we'll talk about that in a minute. And this gives you a sniped-in view. You can see there it'll do more damage. Let's see if I can hit this guy. There you go. So you have different types of uh, armor and armor types. Let me explain that. So in the skill tree, as you start leveling up, you'll you'll get skill points. And these points you can put towards stealth type of uh, abilities, ranged abilities, or melee abilities. As you can see here, I focused very heavy on, on melee abilities. That's just my gameplay. Any really gameplay would work. This game is, as they do a good job of balancing that. So if you want to play more stealthy or play more ranged or a combination of those three you can I just went that direction and as you move up these skill trees you'll notice that there's these certain skills that give you bonuses to the gear that you're wearing so this says gives you a bonus to all bear aligned gear gear if you look at my inventory I have a bear aligned hood and that's in the top center you'll see this little picture of a bear and if you mouse over or something like this recurve bow it shows a raven and then there's a wolf so it's raven wolf and bear so to get the full bonus, you know, for at least the, the build that I have, I try to use as much as possible wolf-based or a bear-based equipment. Uh, but you can go raven or you can go wolf depending on, on uh, your play style and your preference, or you can mix and match. You really get your bonus once you have five pieces in there. So you could do five of one set and three of another or, or whatever really works for you. Uh, you also get the ability to level these up as you play, so you can increase their power level. And then you can also put runes in them runes give you special abilities or bonuses additional to health, stealth damage, those type of things. Similar to other Assassin's Creed games and 
other games you've played where you have place runes. Um, you'll eventually even be able to unlock multiple rune slots. I haven't done that yet, uh, where you can put multiple runes in the same item. So that's the uh, kind of some of the stealth stuff. Let me show you. I'll just get into a attack with these guys. Here, I'll, I know what I'll do. Jump down here. I will, how about if I, st I'm going to try to stealth one of them, and then I'll attack the others. See if I can get there in time. Hey, what? Get behind if you can. Yeah. No, didn't work. Oh well. Okay. So, one thing you can do, let me uh, do my little attack here is when you go to shoot him with like a ranged you'll see that there's a weak spot in this case it's his leg or his with arm with me brother and if you shoot him in, in that spot they'll get stunned and then you can do a special attack it's usually a one shot kill there um, so that can be kind of handy especially on like a, a more difficult character like this guy if i shoot him in the leg i can just go over there so finish him off then you have your ability, the harpoon. So if you want to pull the guy and attack with him, you also have ah! throwing axe ability. So there's some some pretty good abilities, pretty powerful abilities, and those again you unlock by finding them in the game. Um, they're located. I actually think there's one here. Below. Yeah, here we go. It says it's 69 meters below. So somewhere in this monastery is a, uh, uh, a book that I can unlock, and it will either give me a new skill, or if I already have that particular skill, it'll make that skill more powerful. And you go around in the loot and all that. Now, if I want to, I can call in the raid at this point. I can do the mouse button, and I can start a raid. And this will call... So that's where we're at with uh, the Game Ball Project and a little bit of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Um, this will probably be my uh, last video for the calendar year, uh, but look for more videos again as we get closer. And me I'll give you updates on where we're at with uh, pre-release and shipping and pre-sales. Again, early next year is, is kind of where we're targeting, but a lot of that will depend on when we're able to go back into uh, production and get back in the offices so hopefully you enjoyed the video i appreciate you taking the time to watch it today and we will talk soon thank you